Okay, so I just want to mention a few things. So um, we're going to be making our uh, our boxes, and uh, in making these drawings, you're gonna. I, I've asked you to make something called a cut list. Okay, so uh, a cut list is basically a list. Once you've done your drawings and they've been approved, you basically measure out uh, how big each one of your pieces is going to be. This is a uh, something that's usually done in production to streamline the process of production. And let me just kind of explain what what I mean by that. So here's my cut list for, for this box, right? And so I've measured the height in the elevation of all of my pieces and I've measured the, the length of all of my pieces. Um, <clears throat> so you can see here, uh, if you look right here, these, these, this represents two pieces that are cut at one and a quarter inch and two more pieces that are cut at one and a quarter inch. So in other words, that frame all the way around is one and a quarter inch. Uh, so, and then for the lower part of the box, it's five eighths of an inch. So that's four pieces at five eighths of an inch. Now, the benefit of doing a cut list is that you can, uh, you know, like for instance, if if we were making these out of wood, <clears throat> it would be ridiculous to, to cut one piece at a time. What you wanna do is you want to, like if we were working with wood, you would cut long strips on the table saw that were one and a quarter inch, and then you would, would do what's called cross cutting where you would cut them down into <clears throat> five, uh, four and five eighths inch pieces and three and a quarter inch pieces, cross cutting them. So it's it's more of a kind of production line and it n makes the process of making things much more efficient. Why am I talking about this? Because when you, uh, when you measure out the pieces you need to cut and you consolidate the information, you're gonna see consistencies where you can make these things much more efficiently. Anyways, I'm gonna just kind of move over here to our board. And um, so at one and a quarter inch, I'm gonna wanna cut strips, right? That down. So one and a quarter inch would be right there, okay? And then, and you could do this with a much finer pencil or whatever. I just grabbed whatever was available, which is uh, a pretty, uh, large graphite stick. Um, and then I'm going to cut a strip. Now, if you have a T square or a, an angle, right? So here I've got my mat board here. I've got my blade. It's sticking out a little bit too far. I'm going to pull that in. I'm still going to leave myself some extra there. And I'm going to cut very, I'm not, I'm not pressing hard, uh, right through the material. So that only took me one pass. This blade's pretty sharp, but now I've got a strip. So the next one that I do, you can kind of cheat the process a little bit and make it a little bit more efficient. I mean, you want to be really precise. I wouldn't measure it, but you know, if you're pretty confident that your cut was square and you needed another one, you could trace that. Just, I would, I, you really want these things to be kind of really clean. Line it up to the line and then cut another strip. So by cutting strips, then you come back and, you know, I need two pieces at four and five eighths inches, right? So four, there's a half and plus an eighth. So it'd be right there, okay? So now I can um, cut that. And you also wanna make sure if you, you know, you wanna make sure this is square, so as best you can. And then you can take that piece that you just cut, 
since you guys are going to represent the kind of the sides of it and you could scribe it like where the end of it is and cut the next piece okay so i'm not going to cut each one of these things on camera but uh, my point is consolidate your measurements into a cut list and try to identify the common uh, dimensions between the different pieces and cut them in strips and then cross cut them into smaller pieces.